Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you how I, uh, easy way to get this, the old drive shaft out and put the new, uh, integrity, uh, drive shaft on. Already did the one side already. So, if you take this one piece off, then you can get to the, uh, hole at the bottom, the, uh, little nut there, bolt, and turn it. Yeah, right there. And uh, you can get the old one out. The old one getting out is pretty easy with the uh, Merv drive shafts in it pretty easy. Uh, the new one's a little bit more complicated, so let me get this one out and uh, I'll get back to you. As you can see, once you get the pin out, it's pretty easy to get the mirror drive shaft right on out. And it just pops right on out. Uh, getting the other one back on. In there, it's a different story. Uh, I don't have a camber man, and this is my little mini can so I'm gonna pause it again. I know um the Jang was saying about the dry wax lubricant stuff, you can put them on your joints and stuff like that now help keep the dirt out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this dry wax lubricant uh um, keeps the dust and dirt off the drive shafts and hopefully keep them a little bit cleaner. You swing the bottom in first, then push up on the top there. That's how you can get it in with this way, because if not, you're not going to be able to do it. You can't separate the two pieces and try to put it in with the, uh, uh, upper control arm and the lower control arm on. You just can't do it that way, so you gotta bring it from the back, and then push up through the um, top piece, and then you can get it in this, this way. So with it attached, you can see it looks like it's going to work good. And it's a single piece in there, uh, kind of like the Summit ones, uh, but instead of the uh, plastic, it's all metal. So I think it might just work. It's got a little bit of telescoping uh, room in there. It's not very much, so that's why I had so much difficulty trying to get it in because there's no play in there, you know, there's very little telescoping, probably just enough for the movement. So, I'm just putting the back one now, and, um, I got the new ring and, uh, pinion gear for the front. I'm going to redo the front. I already just redone the back. And uh, I'm waiting for the center diff. So I'm going to put the center diff in there too. And uh, the nice Geo Landers tires with the HPI rims. Um, give you a sneak peek of that. It looks like uh, it's going to look really, really nice on there. You can see a lot nicer than the other tires really give it a Baja look. So, I have to let you guys know.
see it's on, and the suspension is completely uh, going up and down, no problem, sends up, it's got a little bit of truth, that's what I want. Things will work out fine.